Welcome to part five of my five part series of videos entitled A Guide to Switching to Linux Pop OS Edition. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over removing Windows from a dual boot with Pop OS. So now, why would you wanna do this? Well, maybe you've installed Pop OS on a dual boot with Windows and you've decided that you really like it and you've got all your data and applications switched over and for those applications that you may have had that aren't available for Linux, you've either found alternatives for or you found alternative ways to run these applications. For example, a virtual machine or a wine and you've decided that you no longer need Windows on your system. If that's the case, you came to the right place. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is plug in your Pop! OS installation media and then boot up your system. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to the boot menu and then you're gonna boot from your Pop! OS installation media. All right, so now once you're at the install Pop! OS screen, the first thing you're gonna do is go into terminal and then run sudo apt install mtools. And this is to be able to work with our EFI system partitions. Okay, and then once that's done, you're gonna go into gparted. Okay, and then first thing we're gonna do is delete a few Windows partitions, starting off with the Windows EFI system partition, obviously not the Pop! OS EFI system partition, the Microsoft Reserve partition, the Windows OS partition, the basic data partition, NTFS, delete that. And then the Windows recovery partition, also labeled NTFS. Okay, now it should look something like this. We should only have our Pop! OS EFI system partition and our Pop! OS data partition. Now what we have to do is click on our Pop! OS EFI system partition, click this little arrow to resize slash move it. And then basically we wanna take this and then drag this all the way to the beginning of the space, then click resize slash move. Okay, now our Pop! OS EFI system partition shouldn't have any unallocated space above it. If that's the case, come over to your Pop! OS data partition, resize slash move that, and then just make this fill up the whole space, so that way it takes up all our now unallocated space, then click resize slash move, and then it's gonna warn us that moving a partition might cause our operating system to fail to boot. We're gonna click OK. All right, now you should just have your Pop! OS EFI system partition and your Pop! OS data partition, your EXT4. Don't really worry about this extra unallocated space. That's just unallocated space that Gparted leaves automatically. The space lost from that is extremely, extremely negligible. But anyway, once we're done, we're gonna click this little check to apply our operations then click apply, and then it'll go delete our Windows partitions, move our Pop! OS EFI system partition to the beginning of the space, then expand our Pop! OS data partition to fill up the space that was once taken up by Windows. So now this'll take a while, so I'll speed this up. All right, and then once all of our operations have successfully completed, we can close out of this. Just let Gparted refresh, and yep, it applied our changes. So now we can go reboot the system. Actually, there's one final step that we need to do in order to remove the Windows Boot Manager entry from our boot menu. So we have to go into Disks, and then click on our internal hard disk, and then we've got to mount our Pop! OS EFI system partition, then click this mounted at link to open it, and then go to EFI, and then this is where we copied our Microsoft folder. So we basically have to go delete that Microsoft folder. And by the way, the reason why you don't see it in my EFI folder is because I've actually already went and done this. But anyway, once you've done that, now you can go reboot your system. And now Windows will be gone from our boot menu. So now to make this stop showing up every time the system starts up, just hit shift and then keep pressing the T key until it says menu disabled. And then we can boot back into our Pop! OS and that menu should not show up on any subsequent boots. And that's how to remove Windows from a dual boot with Pop! OS. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, Share with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.